Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ben. If this is your first time here, welcome to my beauty entertainment channel. Absolutely. So, if you would like to follow me on social media, here's my Twitter and my Instagram. Go have fun, enjoy yourself on there. Yay. And while you're here, check out some of my recent videos. So, I posted a video before this of me playing The Sims. Fun times. And then before that, I posted a video talking about the best and worst makeup releases of 2020. For my best ones, I put I spent a lot of time in my description box. I linked the videos where I use all those products. Like I told you what videos I use them in. So like, please look in the description box. That took me like a while. So I usually just be copying and pasting. No, it took me a while. Anyways, and before that, I posted a collaboration with Hannah from Smoky Glow talking about stuff I don't have time for in 2021. And it's 2021, so like, happy new year, guys. Happy New Year, I guess. Okay, stop being negative. So, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about new releases again. I'm excited, so I did the best and worst of 2020, and I like put in some things I didn't talk about in the last new releases, which I think was a month, I hope it was a month ago. So, let's see what I have saved today. Let's see, okay. So, I'm gonna move over to this, oh shoot, I forgot. Sorry, I'm gonna touch the camera for a second. Let's focus here. Okay, perfect. Look at me being professional. So, we're gonna talk about all this stuff. Let me scroll to the bottom. First thing we have up is from e.l.f. Cosmetics. The best product I've ever tried from e.l.f. is that e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Um, the rest has been like very average. It's really, really, really cheap. Like the products are really, really, really cheap. So like, I don't really like to complain about the products being, cause they're cheap. They're brushes. That is where the money resides. That is where the money resides is in e.l.f. brushes because those are incredible quality for like barely any money. So like most of the brushes that I use in my videos are e.l.f. brushes. They're incredible and I just keep rebuying them. I washing brushes you're supposed to i do i do but sometimes i don't okay so the product we have up is these these are the liquid metallic eyeshadows by elf cosmetics so it's a liquid uh, blah, 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 it's a metallic liquid eyeshadow here's my thing elf has done these are these are just new shades elf has done like did this before so it's supposed to be like a like a <laughs> version of like the stila um glitter and glows okay there's stila glitter and glows then there's stila shimmer and glows bullshit that's what these remind me of and it's all bad i want glitter i don't know where the plot was lost that we thought people don't want glitter anymore but I'm not really the biggest fan of putting like boneless shimmer on my eyes. It's like go big or go home. So, oh well. And then we're coming out with new shades. Um, none of these shades are that nice. So I'm just gonna move on right now. Next product we have. So Urban Decay, finally. I feel like I talked about this in May. This, the, the new Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow. I really feel like I talked about this in May. Anyway, so it's finally out now. It's a tinted glow hydrator with kombucha something, 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 something ingredients, medium coverage, and a fresh looking glow. So it has like 12 shades. Okay. Here's my thing. Everyone's always like, well, it's tinted moisturizer. You don't need 12 shades. I don't know who the fuck lied to you. Sorry. I don't know who lied to you about that, but there's, I don't, I don't, that doesn't even make any sense to me. Yeah, you can like, you can work with like tinted moisturizer shades, but like, why should you? I don't know why you want to engage in labor in 2021. Like, I don't get that. I, it, Engage, okay, it's not 2013 where we were all where like all the dark teen girls were like, you know, meddling with foundation shades to get our shades right. It's 2021. Make more tinted moisturizer shades. I don't understand. Whatever. But it looks half, it's spread out relatively evenly. So like that's already better than half of the tinted moisturizers on the market. I made sure to know Mani was like the model for this, um tinted glow. I also am not a fan of tinted moisturizers. Sorry, the propaganda will not get to me. It will not. Um, I just don't get the point. If I'm going to put foundation, if I'm going to put something on my face to cover something up, I want something to be covered up. But that's literally just me. If you're someone who likes tinted moisturizer, I heard this was actually pretty good, but it's not for me. Next thing. So Give Me Glow Cosmetics has come out with 
two palettes. One is the Sweet and Sticky palette, and the other one is the Vivid Rose palette. So I've been wanting, I don't know why I haven't just purchased. I've had Give Me Glow Cosmetics products in my cart. I've had my card is always full, but I never checked out. I don't know what that's about. I don't really. Maybe it's because I like was like, no more buying eyeshadow. You have more than enough. But these palettes are very pretty. And I've heard nothing but great things about Give Me Glow's um, eyeshadow formula. Like it actually, I don't know, shows up. Wow. And it like blends really nice. And they always have really cute palettes. And they have, you can like make your own. No, I might look into it. But I said no more eyeshadow. I don't know. I think I'm a purple pinks like whore. So um, this palette is really, 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 really pretty to me. And I kind of want it. It's $45. That's not bad. And it has a mirror. We'll see. We'll see. Next brand up. Oh boy. Next brand up, we have Juvia's Place. Um, do you see what happens when you are so desperate for the Demogorgon's approval? Nobody talks about your shit anymore. But I'm going to today. So Juvia's Place is released or did release this. Um, this is a collaboration with Yami. It's like a cute little eyeshadow palette. It's cute. It's cute. I used to use Juvia's Place back before, you know, they allowed Voldemort to, you know, do whatever he did to do. Juvia's Place eyeshadows are very, very, very nice very 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 nice their shimmers are very 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 nice i'll still like tap that nubian one palette the first palette they ever came out with i don't even know if i have my original but it's like destroyed like i used dad down to the bone i used that palette because it was gorgeous and the formula is incredible oh too bad so sad i won't be using any of them ever again but this is really pretty anyways Next, oh boy, I think I talked about this in my, whatever. It's ColourPop came out, this is their holiday collection. It was Hello Kitty X, I don't understand how you messed this up so bad. I don't understand, I, they messed up Mulan, they messed up Sailor Moon, they messed up Halloween Town, but I feel like Hello Kitty is just like put a shit ton of pink and glitter and people will be happy. How do you mess that up? I don't get it. Do you, I want you to look at this and tell me where it all went wrong. We can start with the fact that there's no like hot pink shade in here. I don't understand. I don't understand. They, they put in like creamsicle orange before hot, I don't understand. And then the shimmers, the three shimmers at the top, Ash, Frozen Sister, I don't get it, I don't get it. And then the bottom three is that, see, I hate when ColourPop does that. ColourPop loves to throw in um, the matte with shimmers in them. Um, I'm no longer okay with that. I'm no longer, yeah, some, sometimes when you blend it in, it's the shimmer goes away, but sometimes it doesn't. I'm no longer okay with this, and I would like it to stop as soon as possible. I know it, when the formulation makes it easier to blend, maybe make a better formula. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's time. It's been years. Maybe it's time to go into the lab and figure out, let's make our eyeshadows non-ashy. I could be, like, cracking the code here, but, like, I think it's really time to do that. Anyways, and then the blushes, um... Would be cute if they could show up on me. I, that pink might, but I don't want to buy it and th th test a theory. Like, I don't, I'm no, I'm ab above the point of testing theories with makeup. I would like to know that it works before buying it. Anyway, so there's other stuff. There's like Lux glosses, <laughs> um, lip care kits. I'm not using any of those, but you know. It's cute for children, not for dark skinned children, but it's cute for children. Next topic. So JLo, JLo is coming out with a beauty line. It's all gold. Mm, I'm gonna be a hater. I think it looks tacky. Sorry, maybe this is not for my age group. Could totally totally be it i think it looks tacky anyways it's a bunch of like skincare stuff complexion boosters cleansers and the stuff that i would never ever buy yeah i don't think i'm like the target age demographic for j-lo anything so i'm thinking this is for my middle-aged girls um 
this cute or whatever. I'm not sure she's using any of this skincare stuff on her face, but <laughs> okay. Next, let's go on to makeup again. This is whoa, whoa. Okay, Loteria. I took French. I'm very, very sorry. Um, so it's this palette. This is cute. It's Suave Cita Pomade. Je pas français. Désolé. Anyways, so this palette is cute. This packaging is cute. I, you know, people get like mad at like gimmick palettes, if that makes sense. Stuff with a really, really obvious thing. I th theme. I think it's cute if it's done really, really well. And this was seems to have a very concrete theme that they really, really stuck with. So, you know, good for them. I won't buy any of it because, um, it doesn't look like it swatches that well. All those swatches are really misleading, but also I this palette, like the neutral, but the bottom two rows or colors has been done like 17,000 times. And I probably own at least three of them, but it's really cute. Is this the same brand that did the Tapito collection? It might be, it might be. So they have, they do, they go, do really good themes and they stick, they don't, huh, they don't take their theme and half-ass it. They full-ass it, A plus. Next, so Fenty, okay, Fenty came out with these cream glosses ages ago. I don't want to talk about it, but my Sephora package is lost to the wind. I ordered it before I left LA to come home. It's still not here. I don't, I know USP, used to, that they're going through issues and I get it. So I don't feel like yelling at anyone over the phone. It's just been a really long time and I would really like my cream glosses. So if anyone's listening, maybe send those my way. But like, take your time. I don't want to rush you. Anyways, so these Fenty, these are the Fenty cream glosses. Um, the reason I bought them is because one, I like Fenty's gloss. Um, formula. It's not my actual favorite actually, but I like how many colors they have. How many colors they have kind of outweighs the gloss formula being like, meh. It's a good formula. Don't get me wrong. It's a very good formula, but there are better formulas on the market, but they just have all the perfect colors. And some of these colors, so I ordered um, cookie jar and honey waffles, I'm pretty sure. I was gonna order fruit snacks, but I'm like, Amanda, you would never ever wear that ever in your life. But it's really, really pretty. And I've seen people who have them. It's it's like the exact same thing as the regular gloss bombs. It's the same formula and all that kind of stuff. So I just wanna see the colors like on me. But I'll wait, I'll wait for the male people to get together. I'll wait, it's fine, it's totally fine. I have a lot of patience now. Okay, next product. So this is from, um. Artist Couture. It's the Club Daddy collection. So it has an eyeshadow palette and a pressed highlighter, a diamond lights finisher, which is something, and then a lipstick. So um, eyeshadow palette looks tiny. I've tried the Artist Couture, the first palette they came out with. It had a, like, it was really cool. It was miniature. It's very, very small. The formula was decent decent like that I can't give it any more than decent it didn't do any more for me than decent um this looks very similar to that palette like almost the same it's just a tiny it just has a new just a little bit expanded um I strongly dislike when they like turn the like turn it at an angle I really dislike that that's a personal preference I think it looks stupid that's no hate. That's me just thinking shapes should stay like shapes and stuff and we don't need to like fix the wheel. I don't know. That's just me though. And then I don't know wear highlighter anymore. That's kind of crazy because it like four years ago I used to use the Art Couture diamond powder like with every look I did and now I don't wear highlighter anymore. Hmm. The world has changed so much. Wow. Hmm. The fall of highlighter. Anyways, so that's this collection. It's, you know, cute if you want it to be cute. These so half of these makeup now is very much if it's cute. If you want it to be cute, for other people, it's most likely not. So next thing, so Glam Light, Gimmick Central, this is what I was talking about. So they came out with a pie eyeshadow palette. I know people don't like Glam Light's um, food shtick. 
And for like practicality purposes, I completely agree with you. However, I think some of it is cute. So this is like a pie eyeshadow palette. Um, I don't, I've never tried their eyeshadows because again, I don't like risking things. And I've always heard actual terrible things about the shipping, like terrible things about the shipping. So I'm gonna save my, I'm gonna not gamble on eyeshadow shaped like a pie. It's cute. Um, there's no shades in here I can use to deepen up my crease, so that's where they lose me. Oh, the shimmers look really pretty, but do they actually look like that in real life? We don't know, and I don't want to be the I don't want to be the guinea pig. I don't want to be the guinea pig to find out. I'm sorry. It's cute. I like. I think the gimmick, the food gimmick, is cute. I think it's cute. I think they, the burger palette was the one that had like a hump on it who's storing that so if they can just keep the food thing going but just make their palettes normal size it'll be fine and i'm sure people are buying this because like food sells so perfect i lost my place next so color pop again came up with this um the big poppy collection it's a bunch of orange um I don't get how you have an orange collection and your orange blush looks like a whisper. I don't get that. Is like orange blush like really hard to formulate? I could totally be that, but like I don't get, you have, this is an orange collection and there's no bright orange blush. In fact, the blush looks like a foundation shade. Okie dokie. It wasn't, it wasn't gonna do anything for me anyways, ColourPop. Anyway. Next, so we have the Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation. I went and I got it. It's here today. I used it like once. Um, it's a powder foundation. It's a powder foundation. I used to use powder foundations um, back when I like went to class and stuff. And it's a good one. I can't like wear it outside really all that much to actually test how it wears up. But it went on. I got the shade 445. That's my shade in the foundation. It's pretty accurate compared to the foundation shades I would say some of the other ones though um because I was looking I was like I don't know if I want to get my actual shade match something lighter something darker some of the other ones like something in the 455 did not look the way the foundation looks it was one of those in that um towards that end so I would go that's something in person I mean everything's closed now or should be closed now but like if you have the chance to that's something I feel like you should go in person to see because some of them looked even more red than the foundation. Like I used to buy 450 in the foundation and then I went outside one day and I looked like an orangutan and I was like, okay, flop. Then she came out with 445 and I was like, okay, warm olive, I'll put that on. So I went and I was like, maybe I should try 450 for the powder foundation. It looked like bright red. It looked even more red than the, than the liquid. And I was like, okay, we've lost the plot. <laughs> we've lost the plot. But so that's something I would say like maybe if you have the opportunity to go in person and check. It's a good formula. It's a powder foundation. Um, it's kind of hard to fuck those up in my personal belief. Um, oil control, it did well. I'm not super oily anymore. I'm not. Um, my skin has toned down over the past four years. It used to be absolutely buck wild. I think it would have like helped more if like back when my skin was buck wild, but it still, it didn't dry my skin out. I have like normal, I have very normal skin. It leans oily when it wants to, but like I didn't feel it drying out, So, but I don't have dry skin. So you guys have to find someone, if you have dry skin, find someone with dry skin, because I know the dry skin girls in Fenty do not get along. I know that. So you might have to find somebody else for that. I'm very sorry, okay, bye. That's a powder foundation. So Gucci came out with a new foundation and primer. Um, a lot of people were talking about it because it has like a good shade range and like from like a brand like Gucci that's like very like shocking. I have no idea what the formula is like. It said it's a natural finish fluid form foundation. Hmm. One of my mutuals on Twitter bought this. Um, I think he's doing a wear test on it. So I'm just going to wait and see his reaction and I'll update you guys. But it looks like any other foundation. Me with foundations right now, I have my perfect foundations, guys. I'm over it until you guys give me something revolutionary. I think I'm good, but I say that every like two years and then two years later I found like the, the best foundation of all time. So we'll see. Give me like another year. Next, so we have ColourPop again, came out with this wine collection. I don't know how you mess up wine like this. I don't, they also have, I swear, have released this palette before. 
under some sort of mauve collection name. I, I swear I have seen this palette before. They just changed the carton. The carton used to be like a mauve color, but now they changed it to this berry red. There's no berry red in the palette. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. There, there's no, sh the shade of the actual packaging is not in the pack. I don't know what wine looks like this. I don't. I don't. The blushes, they're super, so here's my thing with ColourPop. Soup, they're super sock highlighters and super, super, whatever, I can't say any of these words, are actually very, very good. However, they've chosen to discontinue all of the shades that anyone under 400 can use. I find that frankly disturbing. I find that disturbing that they discontinued like pretty much all of the shades that some of my skin tone can use. And I'm going to continue to say it because I think it's really weird that you would only discontinue those. Who's buying? Who's buying the bright blue one? Who? No, it's not bright blue. It shifts into blue. Who's buying that? A lot of people were buying your darker ones. What's that about? What's that about? But that's not the point of this. That's not the point of what I'm talking about. This looks so uninspired. It's just, it, it's, it's just, it's just giving uninspired. It's just giving, okay, we have a bunch of these mauve collection palettes left. Let's sell them as wine. Even though if, I think if your wine looks like this, there's something wrong with it. Ooh. All righty. Next thing is from Danessa Myrick. She's coming out with a balm contour. Okay, so I don't really like contour like that anymore I like I use the Fenty matchstick but it's a way warmer so I consider what I do more of like a cream bronzing but so Danessa Myricks I've tried her vision cover for her foundation absolutely incredible if you like actually need like a very very beef face you're doing something for like you're doing like an actual makeup look that foundation and you can get little samples that actually last you a pretty long time that foundation is inc is incredible incredible i've never worn it outside i only do wear it when i do um makeup looks i don't know how it works out outside but it looks incredible incredible in photographs um this is actually like a cute idea it has a very good shade range it goes very dark which you would never see otherwise hmm i just don't contour that often but it looks like a good product hmm we'll see we'll see okay next um we have Juvie's Place again came out with these like it's more collapse I did not know that it's coming out with a bunch of collapse it's like a bunch of mini palettes there's like a blue one and a pink one again I'm not buying from Juvie's Place anytime soon but the shimmers look great it looks great it looks fun it looks you know it's a it's a disco collection it looks fun something for the girls something for the, something for the summertime that's what it kind of looks like um that's it that's it. That's really it. It's not really anything like super special to me. It's not something I would like forget what happened over. Like they had, it's nothing of that sort. Next, so Morphe 2, which is the subsection of Morphe. Yeah, okay. It's coming out with skincare. So I remember when I told you when we were talking about this in one of my like videos from this summer, um, I'm advising for public health safety purposes to not buy skincare from Morphe. Um, what is my evidence in that? Um, gut feeling. Gut feeling is my um, evidence that I'm using and why you should not buy skincare from Morphe. I'm wondering, um, I'm wondering what ingredients actually are in this. I'm not a skin, I, I don't know anything about that. I use my products and I go, but I'm sure the esthetician girls like, n like knows, knows. I'm sure it's not looking good. These ingredients list, I'm sure it's not looking good at all. There's a lip mask. Y'all can be good with a lip mask. Hope I don't give you, you know, the bumps and the mumps, but um, public health safety. No skincare from Morphe should be purchased with your money and put on your face. Okay? Save yourself and your skin. All right, that's just me. Next, okay, so like, <laughs> Dragon Beauty still exists, and it's coming out with a setting spray and setting powder. Look at it, think of what my thoughts would be And we're moving right around. So next, Buxom Cosmetics is coming out with a white Russian collection. So Buxom is a brand. 
sells well, their biggest product are these glosses I've actually never I feel like I did try it back in like 2014 2015 but I don't remember shit Lip gloss formula, everyone loved it. Everyone loved this one shade called White Russian, right? Everyone loved this one shade. Um, it's like a nude pink shade. It's a very basic um, shade. And so Buxom hasn't had any a hit since their lip glosses. They came out with different, like, they had like a opaque, they had a super glitter version. They did like every single type of gloss they could um, over the past couple of years. It's just not really working. So now they're taking like, like the Too Faced route and like the, mm, I guess like the Tarte route and like making a whole collection based off one product no no if this is a blush I'm gonna scream no it's a highlighter okay it's a highlighter in that shade they have let me start with the eyeshadow palette the naked one no the naked row the naked three this is the naked three condensed good luck with that um, then we have a highlighter. And then we have a lipstick. <laughs> and then we have the original gloss. Um, I would just like to wish Buxom the best of luck selling this. Um, I don't even think people still know they are still in Sephora's. I'm pretty sure they've been kicked out of some Sephora's. Aww. Oh, this is an Ulta thing. This is an Ulta thing. Buxom is in the back of my Ulta. Like, in the back, in the back. It used to be closer, it used to be closer to the front. They kept pushing them back. Aww. So sad. Anyways, next, BH Cosmetics is, came out with a birthstone collection. So every month there will be a new palette dropping. So this is the January one. It's like a bunch of reds and stuff, and then like a shimmery black. Um cute I guess if you're born in January maybe you have a connection to this I don't I don't know why that is it a blush why is the red shade just so long no it's not a blush I don't I don't get that I don't get that no it doesn't even look good at all why do they make it so long oh is it is that the color of garnet but it's not pretty so why make it the longest shade? Don't understand. But I'm maybe I'm not bored in January. Maybe January girls, and they maybe you guys have a like a connection to this. I don't. But I'm not here to harp on your mellow and steal your joy. So have fun. And the next thing, so Melt is coming out with a blueprint collection. So this is like a newly renovated eyeshadow. So it has like, there's a blue side and there's those neutral sides. So like kind of like the rust and like a blue version of their other palettes had a baby. I don't know. I kind of like blue eyeshadow. I think it's kind of cute. I used to not like it and then I got really into blue eyeshadow. Um, I don't really need this because I do have one of their like, oh, that like collaborate, that like first palette they did that brought that melt like up the scene. What was it called? Like. Ooh, something sold. There's blues in that palette that I really, really like. So I have a lot of the blues on that side. And then the Rust palette has a lot of these colors. Slash the, is it the 421 that has a lot of these, these the, the other side of shades. Those blue liners, my thing is melt liners are very, very slept on. They're still in tubs. Maybe that's why people sleep on them. But tub liners be working when you need, like, when you actually need to get something done. That's where graphic liner started, was tub eyeliners. Now it's like the water activated stuff. But like, those liners are really, really pretty. I'm sorry, the one that's like sitting at the top, is that not calling your name? It's kind of calling mine. Oopsie, it's really kind of calling mine. Okay, next. Um, Elf, is this Elf? No, this is ColourPop again. Is releasing, this looks like a book series. Does the packaging not give you like, Barnes and Noble's YA romance. That's what that gives me. Anyways, a bunch of bite-sized palettes that I can't use. Next, so Rare Beauty, I actually got these in the mail yesterday. It's coming out. This is like their Stay Vulnerable collection. So there's like there's a cream blush. Okay. So I swatched all these cream blushes. I'll put the swatches that like the professional ones up on the screen. So a difference in formula between it is a very big difference in formula. So this is a cream blush. This is a cream blush. 
This is not a liquid blush. The liquid blushes are not the same as this at all. So you know the liquid blushes, how I told you before, they're really, really pigmented. There's no like, there's, oh, there's wiggle room, but not that much, but they're really, really great if you have dark skin. These are the opposite. These are stuff you build. These that have that oily, waxy, super like that, that feel, the traditional cream blush feel. So the most recent cream blush launch that I have to compare it to is the Fenty one. And I put the Fenty one in my worst of makeup of 2021. So I compared the two like blush formulas. This one is a little bit, has more wiggle room. It's like a little wetter is the word. This Rare Beauty Flush formula is a little bit wetter. That can either be a good or a bad thing depending on how you like to do your makeup. I like these a little bit more. However, nothing is topping these liquid blushes for me personally. Another thing about these um, cream blushes, I'll swatch this one for you. There's only three shades of the ones that I got that I can actually use. First one is Nearly Rose. It's like this bright pink. Look at me, I'm a beauty influencer. Okay, the other one is Nearly Mauve. No, I have to do it this way, sorry. Nearly mauve, okay. And then the last one is one of the prettiest things I've ever seen in my entire life. It's nearly berry. Oh! Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. Look, watch, 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 watch. That is hot. That is hot. So those are the three shades that would actually like show up on me. There's other shades that I got. It's um, nearly apricot. It's supposed to be this orange one. Don't bother. Don't bother. If you're like dark at all, don't bother. And then there's this one which is um, nearly neutral. Don't bother with that either. It's not showing up on you at all. So like these three, yes. This flea, this bottom one, this wine, wine, an actual wine shade, yes. The other ones, no. Even like this, eh, eh, eh. This one's mostly where the action is at. Basically, it's that same cream blush formula. I don't really personally like cream blush all that much. Um, can't really do a lot with it. If you're if you're someone who likes to wear a lot of like coverage and likes to wear more like face rather than a super, you know, I just woke up like this face. That's what this is for. The liquid blush is for when you want to put like makeup on. If that makes sense. I don't know how much these cost. Hmm, let's see if it says it on trend mood. Um, yeah, they cost $21. It's a pretty, it's a pretty like decent thing. The nearly apricot shade, it doesn't look this way, I guess on camera maybe. It's supposed to be like a coral. It does not show up. It does not show up at all. They have, a, this is like a, there's like, if you want that color, but you want it to show up, go get the liquid blush. If that makes sense, go get the liquid blush. But if you're someone who the liquid blushes were way too pigmented and they were scary, then you can venture in over to these. But these are cream. You gotta use your fingies. You gotta use a brush or something. Gonna get a little aggregated and stuff. But if you're someone who likes to build up to that big color, then I would advise getting these ones. And again, the shades that I like, the shades that I really like, is oh, Nearly Berry. Hmm, I almost dropped it. Nearly Berry, the super dark one. And then um, Nearly Mauve, which was the second one I swatched. I'm not good at this. And then the first one I swatched was um, Nearly Rose, was the first one I swatched. Wow, I'm such an influencer, I'm not. Anyways, but that's the cream blushes. And then they came out with glossy lip balms. Um, I don't use lip balm like that. I use this one. This is the Nearly Apricot one. It's a lip balm, that's it. The gloss part is like, I don't know. It's, I had this on at the beginning of the video. It's not that glossy. It's not like a gloss. It's just a really pretty lip balm. It's a nice formula. I wore this yesterday because again, in that Sephora order that is missing, my lip balm is in that order. I don't know. Was I don't know what that's about. Whatever. But yeah, I'm not someone who like is really into like um, not flavored, like colored lip balm. I'm not really. I want to see what most this dark one even look like. I'm not putting this on. I'm not gonna look like a clown. Ooh, eh. It's just like um, a toned down gloss. If you're not someone who likes gloss, so like, not me, I love gloss, then maybe those would be cute for you. And those are $18. And then there's liquid eyeshadow. I don't use liquid eyeshadow ever, ever, ever. Not even when it was a thing, I don't use liquid eyeshadow. I think because it's like the Stay Vulnerable collection, these are supposed to be like flushed out colors. However, the issue with that is when you're like dark skinned, 
um, other people's idea of flushed out doesn't exactly match with yours. Like these four, you see, they're all like a variation of a light pink or like a light neutral. This won't look flushed out on me. There's this dark one called Nearly Berry, the other, the same, they're the same names. They all have slight shimmer in them, but this is supposed to look like flushed out, won't on me. This is supposed to look flushed out, won't on me. This is supposed to look flushed out, not on me. Maybe that one, no. So that's just, that's just, that's just a no. The best thing I think from this is that Nearly Berry Cream Blush Shade. I think they don't have that in the liquid blush, I don't think. They have like a purple, which I'm still afraid to use. You know what I want? Bright orange liquid blush. Cause I still, I feel I have faith cause they did this hot pink so well. Let's get a bright orange, bright. Like orange, orange. All right, so that's that launch. And then we have Becca is coming out with um, light shifter doing, t I'm no, Becca, the only the very the best thing Becca has ever released actually is the ultimate coverage complexion cream one of the best foundations on the market actually actually one of the most long lasting foundations on the market I wore those to cheerleading competitions I wore that foundation to cheerleading competitions you do your makeup at six in the morning and compete at nine at night that that is a good foundation I don't know what they're doing right now doing tint I'm not really sure what that's about they released something along these lines for the past like three years and still nobody has bought it so I wish they would get the hint it's not working then we have the tartlet tart it's coming out with another tartlet palette you guys remember the first one the tartlet in bloom that's one of my favorite palettes of all time actually and they just all went downhill from there they literally messed it up the very next time they did like a fire version of it and it sucked how do you mess up good things i don't get it i don't get it whatever this is a new palette it's mauve it's ashy it looks like a morphe palette and that is absolutely an insult that is absolutely an insult very very sad but it's tart I feel like if your brand is declining, you would start grasp grasping at good straws, not bad straws. But you know, Tarte and I have never really gotten along except for that one Tartlet and Bloom palette. So I have no horse in this fight or the dog in this fight, so I don't really care. And then lastly, I have never been tagged so many times. I don't think I've ever been tagged that many times in my life for any sort of makeup launch ever. So, huh. You know when you like are like scrolling and you feel get like attacked by something that you see on your screen? Like you feel a knife go through your chest? I don't know, Mike could totally be alone in that. Like whatever, you shouldn't like internalize things on the internet. But um, when I was tagged in this the first time, I felt a spear go through the middle of my, because this is a personal attack against me. You know why this is a personal attack against me? Two companies that I've talked about declining, not wanting to, I don't know, revamp anything about them, decided to come together and b produce the most boring, ugly, ashy, repackaged, fundamentally disturbing to my core collection not collection eyeshadow palette i want you to look at this and i want you to tell me what you think i'm gonna say one so i knew from the i knew from the get i said first of all this look does this look familiar to you because it looks real familiar to me and turn lo and behold because it looks familiar because mac has been producing the same color story of disappointment and sadness and anguish and pain for the past like three years. I don't know what that's about. But this is a repackaged palette. They decided, hey, we're getting the opportunity to collaborate with The Sims or The Sims getting the opportunity to collaborate with us and we're going to repackage an old palette and think nobody's gonna notice. I don't know what that's about. And the palette that they chose to repackage looks like shit. I don't even shit has more depth than this, actually, because it's brown. It's dark brown. There's no browns in this palette. Everything looks like what my knees look like when you get out of the swimming pool. I don't get it. I don't get it. And 
again, this is an insult against me because I love The Sims. I play The Sims all the time. So recently, uh, The Sims and the Mac and Mac collaborated in The Sims game with makeup you can put on your Sim. Looks like shit. Looks like shit. My Sims would not be caught dead in half of that stuff. Please, we have standards and we have CC. <laughs> Dud. And then they decide we're gonna collaborate um, in person. And you know, it's very on brand for The Sims, you know, ashy, not inclusive, disappointing, saddening, um, downright disheartening. So it's on brand as a collective for a game that did not think to, okay, I'm gonna go on a Sims Sin skin tone rant. This is not relevant to this video at all. I want you to, cause people wanted me to do what with that? No. If I had gotten on the internet and given any sort of praise to the Sims team for deciding to include me in their game after six years, you would have had every right to call somebody and check up on my mental health. That's what would have happened. Are you crazy? A game that did not have Sims that looked like me, pretty much for the most part, um, until December 2020. The game came out in 2014. And this all happened because someone had to get murdered by the police. That's why that had to happen, right? And they had been to be able to fit, do the skin tones in a matter of about six months, probably less, because the white ga game changers were not speaking about this until like July, August. So it could, it was done in like four months. So what, I, cause I, when, I've been watching Simmers a long time and they always were like, what do you want to see next in The Sims? And all the black people are like, hey, skin tones. And they're like, that's gonna take a long time. Coding, you know, coding and coding, it takes a long time. They did it in four months. So this could have been done two years ago. This could have been done a, two, four, th 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 six years ago, but they chose not to because they said, we don't care to darkies play our game. You guys are gonna stick with shit colored skin. You guys are gonna stick with a skin that looks like it had the life sucked out of it for five and a half years. So the fact that this was a collaboration that was produced is the most on-brand thing I could ever possibly think of in my entire life. You know, A plus for consistency. If you're gonna hate darkies for five and a half years, you might as well keep going. And people are like, well, it's a repackage collab. Does that somehow make this better that they repackaged a palette that didn't sell the first time? I don't know what you want me to do about that. I don't know which one. Why collaborate? This is where my confusion lies. Why do anything at all? I don't know who like, this is, I'm not just harping on Mac. This is going to the Sims team at, why do it? Why, did you think people weren't gonna notice it? Was it supposed to get swept under the, under the rug? I don't understand. You see how I'm asking so many questions is because nothing actually makes any kind of sense. Nothing makes sense. Why make it? Why go through any of the, why go through the trouble of painting cardboard blue and writing Mac meets the Sims plum bob on it if it's gonna look like this? I don't, that's not, it's, it's, I'm speechless. I feel like this is criminal activity and I think something, like, I, I don't know. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. I don't, I want you to look, please look at these shades and tell me what I'm supposed to do with that. I don't get it. So they clearly only paid or put effort into the packaging and said, let's so we don't really want to go through the trouble of making a palette. Do you guys have any already made palettes that we could use? MAC eyeshadow has been looking very dud-like for years, but I'm sure they had a palette that looked better than this that you could have repackaged, but no. That would have taken time and effort since team wouldn't that have. It's very on brand. It's like uh, probably the most on brand collaboration of all time. Very representative. And Mac, I don't know what's happening here. 
I don't know what's been happening over the past few years. You lost the plot like four years ago. I don't get that. I don't get that because you, for a while, you were the only brand that had a foundation my shade or a powder my shade or a contour my shade. What's, what's going on? What's going on? I'm worried. I'm worried. And I, this is a personal attack against me because if I had heard, oh my God, Sims makeup collection in real life, wow, I would have bought it. You know who would have done a better job? You know who I'm gonna give props to who would have done a better job? ColourPop, that sickens me to say. That sickened me to say. ColourPop would have given us a blue and a green and a red. Would have maybe turned into ash on my skin, but it would have existed. We would have gotten Sims blushes. I'm, would, I'm now fixated on want, getting Sims blushes, a color called Woohoo. I'm now obsessed with that and I would like to see it as soon as possible. But no. But no. Who do I blame? I, I want a, like a name? a group, a team, because I don't like personal attacks. I don't. They make me severely uncomfortable and I, I have to step out of character. I don't want to ever hear this again. <laughs> I don't want to ever see this again. The Sims team, so like A plus for longevity of hating dark skinned people. I love that. I love that. Um, you know, I, 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 I'll applaud you for, for your consistency, but I thought with the um, quick fix skin tones you did in December that could have been done um, five and a half years ago, whatever, 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 um, I would think maybe we wouldn't have lost the plot this quickly. Ain't that about a bitch. Anyways, so yeah, that's the end. Whatever. You can't have nice things in this world, I've learned. <laughs> that was terrible. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know what you want me to say about that. This is a microphone, by the way. I don't, I don't. If nothing but consistency. Mac, regain the plot. I don't know what's going on with you, but you need to regain the plot. Quickly. Sims Teen barely had a plot to begin with. It took someone being murdered for them to get a plot. So I don't I don't know what's going on with them. I don't I'm not addressing that. Mac, get find the plot. Find it again. Maybe reread some of your old material. Because Mac collaborations used to have me in line. Not really. In line online. <laughs> Sometimes in line. Like the Rihanna one. Look back at your old work. Read your old essays. Go over them. Annotate if you have to. Bring some of the bring the ideas back in the name of Jesus. All right, that's the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you would like the most media, here's my Twitter and my Instagram. Go have fun. Enjoy yourself on there. And while you're here, check out some of my recent videos that should be on your screen now. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Um, hope you're staying healthy and safe inside your home as best you can. Um, I guess school is starting soon. Don't really know when my school is starting. School in a panorama. Whatever. I don't want to discuss that. Um, so good luck if your school is starting back up again soon. I'm sorry you have to endure this in the middle of a Papa John's, but you know, that's the way this world works. It's sick, right? But you're going to do great. You're going to do great. You're going to learn so much. Learning is so fun. Learning is so fun. I love school, but ugh. Students have lit. Okay, whatever. That's not what this video is about. Students have been ignored out of all these conversations this whole this past eight months. It's like we don't exist. Whatever. That's not what this video is about. So I hope you're doing staying healthy and safe. Study hard, but take care of yourself first. Study hard, but take care of yourself first. Okay, whatever. That's not what this video is about. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.